Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Speak. Praise the Lord. Dusty. Dusty, 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 dusty. Good morning, church. Good morning. This is a wonderful day to praise the Lord. It's yes. It's time and it's a beautiful day outside. Amen. Oh, amen. Yes. Psalm 61, Psalm 68, I think there's one verse 1 and 3. Let God arise amen. and let his enemies be scattered. Amen. Let those, let those who hate him Flee before him. As smoke is driven away, so drive them away. As wax melt before the fire, so let the wicked perish at the presence of the Lord. But let the righteous be glad. Let them rejoice before God. Yes, let them rejoice exceedingly. Amen. 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 This Hallelujah. morning. As we enter into his gates, we enter in with thanksgiving. And then as we enter in, into his courts, we enter into his courts with praise. Hallelujah. We give God thanks for all that he has done. Yes. And we're going to praise him for who he is. Amen. Hallelujah. Father, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ, we enter into your courts Jesus. with thanksgiving Hallelujah. this morning. Glory, Father. We Father. Thank you for Mighty God, mighty God, mighty God, hallelujah. We rejoice, oh Lord, we rejoice, we rejoice, we rejoice with intense joy, oh Lord, with intense gladness, oh God. We say that the joy of the Lord is our strength, oh God. We make a joyful noise unto you, oh Lord, hallelujah. For you are good and your mercy is endure forever, hallelujah, hallelujah. We praise you for your hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah, Lord. We love you, we love you, we love you, we love you. We love you, Jesus, hallelujah, Lord. We love you, Father, we love you, we love you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah to your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to you, O Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Our joy is you, Jesus. Our delight is you, is you Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are the reason. You are the reason, Lord. The reason for our praise this morning, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. From you come from come our praise, oh Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And to you is our praise. Hallelujah. We love you. We love you. We love you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for a new week, oh God. Thank you for the past week, oh God. Hallelujah. Thank you, oh God, for the good things. You have done for us, O oh Lord, the past week and the beginning of this week, O oh God, both great and small. Hallelujah. 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 You deserve it, Lord. You deserve the thanksgiving. You deserve the praise. You deserve the glory. You deserve the credit, O oh God. Hallelujah. We will not take your glory, O oh Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We will be careful, O oh God. To give you thanks, oh God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To crown you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We thank you, Jesus. You are so good. Yes. We love you, Jesus. Yes, we do. We love you. We do, Lord. We do. Yes, indeed, we do. Hallelujah. We ask according to John 1 and 9. We ask that. You forgive us this morning, for your word says we all have sinned and come short of your glory. And we confess our sin, God. We have sinned, Lord. We came yes, short Lord. of your glory. We ask that Father, you we have us, the Lord, assurance God, of your we promise. Those who that if we confess our sin, you are faithful. Father, and you are just, oh God, to forgive you. all sins. We all sin, Lord. Past, present, Lord, future, oh Lord, mercy. and to cleanse us from all of our unrighteousness. 
Your way Lord, say, if we say we are without sin, Lord, mm -hmm. we lie, we Lord, and the truth Jesus is not in us. Hearts, Hallelujah. Oh Your way say, oh God, if we regard sin in our heart, oh you will not hear us, oh God. And we pray in the prayer, Father, with the, in the prayer of the psalmist, oh God, search us, oh God, and know heart. Examine us, Lord, and know our anxious thought. See if there be any helpful ways in us, Lord, and lead us in the way everlasting. Break a bay, break a bay. He rock a bay, rock a bay. Rock a bow, rock a rock a bay, rock a bay, rock a bay. He rock a bow, rock a bay, a rock a bow. He rock a bay, rock a bow, rock a bay, rock a bay. Break a bow, break a bow, break a bow. He rock a bow, rock a bow, rock a bow. A rock a bay, a rock a bay, a rock a bay. He rock a bay, rock a bow, rock a bay. He rock a bow, rock a bay, rock a bay. He rock a bow, rock a bay, rock a bay, rock a bay, rock a bay. He rock a bow, rock a bay, rock a bay, rock a bay. Break a bow, break a bay, a rock a bay, a rock a bay. He rock a bow, rock a bay, rock a bay. He rock a bow, rock a bay, rock a bay. He rock a bow, rock a bay, rock a bay. Rock a bay, rock a bay, rock a bow, rock a bay. He rock a bow, rock a bay, rock a bay, rock a bay, rock a bay. Break a bay, break a bow, rock a bay, rock a bow, rock a bay. He rock a bow, rock a bay, rock a bay. Break a bay, break, break a bay, rock a bow, a rock a bay. Break a bow, rock a bay, a rock a bow, a rock a bay. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Holy Spirit. Welcome. Amen. Oh, we need you. Yes, Lord. We ask you to guide us this morning. Yes, Lord. Into all truth. In the name of According Jesus. According to John 16, 13 through 15. Yes, Lord. Speak to us. Ah, Reveal to you. us the Father's will. Yes. We yes. make room for you, Spirit of God. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, 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 yes. Take control. Yes, Glory. yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says that those who are led Lord. by the Spirit of God, they are the sons and daughters worthy, of God. Worthy. Lord Papa, Jesus, you, you send the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit, you have been sent from heaven. You have been sent from heaven to guide into all truth. You have been, you have been sent from heaven to, to be the great teacher, the one who teaches us all things. Hallelujah, hallelujah. This morning we are open to your ministry. We are open to your work. We are open to your leading. We are open to your guidance. We are open to your instruction. Holy Spirit, hallelujah. Counselor, we are open to your counselor. Your counseling Lord, hallelujah, hallelujah. Comfort up. Hallelujah. We are open for your comfort. Blessed are those who more for they shall be comforted. Help her. Holy Spirit, we cannot do nothing without your help. Even the Son of God said, by myself, I can do nothing. Hallelujah. Lord, hallelujah. 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 We do not have the ability, oh God, to accomplish the thing that you want us to accomplish, oh God. This morning we pray for the presence and the power of your spirit, oh God. Among us in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Manifest the presence of God among us this morning. Hallelujah. Make the Lord know. Hallelujah. Reka Bay. Reka Bay. You are sent to reveal Christ. You are sent to reveal Christ. This morning, make Jesus know among us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He is the reason. He is the reason. We have come, to, we have gathered this morning, hallelujah, hallelujah, to love on him, to worship him, hallelujah. Let our worship this morning and our service be filled with the presence of God, be filled with the anointing, the power of God. This morning, oh Lord, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. We want more of you, Jesus. We want to be close to you, oh Lord, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Reka be, reka be, reka be, Jesus. Father, we pray. Yes, Lord. For your servant, the one that you will use this day to bring forth your word. Yes, Lord. I am a son. Lord, we yes, pray. Yes, Lord. That your spirit would empower him. In Reka Jesus be, reka be. 
Lord, I am a Jesus, you said I take my yoke upon me for I am humble and meek of heart. This morning, oh God, we pray for meekness, oh God. We pray for humility, oh God. Humility of heart and of meekness, oh God, upon your people, upon the church, oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ, that you send for a spirit, oh Lord, of prayer upon the body, oh God. As we cry out, oh God, as we cry out, oh God, to heal our land, to, to forgive our sins, oh God, to confess. And acknowledge our sins before you, O oh God. Hallelujah. For our church, O oh God, and the body of Christ, O oh God. And for the land, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Your heart, O oh God, is a heart of mercy, O oh God. The Bible says that mercy triumphs over judgment. We cry for revival, O oh God. We cry for an awakening, O oh God. For oh God, you are moved with compassion, oh God. For you are a God who party and party abundantly, oh God. We seek for your mercy, oh God. We seek for your mercy, oh God. For the church, oh God. And the church is oh God. And the land, oh God. We cry out for mercy. We cry out, oh God. Hallelujah. We know that we deserve we deserve judgment, oh God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Amen. Yes, Lord. Open oh, God your eyes. Mm, mm, in the Lord. name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we come Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Father. Yes, Lord. Let your will be done. Yes, Lord. All the glory, honor, and praise be unto you. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is once again a privilege to be here in the house of the Lord, to be in his presence. Amen. We are so grateful that he has brought us through another week. It is only by his grace that we are here. We just want to prepare our hearts and our minds as we enter into a time of praise and worship. Just lift up your, your hands unto him. Lord, we come here, we lay all our burdens down at your feet, O oh God. We are here to bless your holy name, O oh Lord. We ask that your will be done, O oh God, as we lift up your name in worship. Take all the glory, take all the honor, O oh Lord. We say that you alone are worthy. 
You alone are holy, O God. You alone deserve the honor and the praise. Come on, just say something to the Lord. We adore you, O God. We worship you. We were created to worship you, O Lord. We will not let the rocks cry out in our place. We say, take all the glory, God. You alone are worthy. Oh, we bless your holy name. For where would we be without you, O oh God? Amen, amen, amen. Amen, amen, amen. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. Amen, amen, amen. Amen, amen, amen. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. Amen, amen, amen. We say amen to your ways, O oh Lord. Amen to your will. Let your will be done. Hallelujah, amen, 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 amen. We are here to worship you, Jesus. Amen, 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 amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah, amen, amen, amen. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen, amen. Amen, amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen, 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 hallelujah, amen, 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 oh, we say amen, let your will be done. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. We ask that your will be done in our lives, oh Lord. We lift up your name, Jesus, and we say we follow you, oh Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Amen, amen. Your will be done, amen. He is an awesome God. He alone is worthy. Come on and give him the praise this morning. We serve a great God, amen. We serve a great God. He is the ever living, the ever faithful, hallelujah. And we are here to bless his holy name, amen. We worship you, Lord. We reverence you, oh God. You alone are worthy, Jesus. You are a great, great God. He is a great, great God. Hallelujah. The heavens and the earth declare the glory of the Lord. I said the heavens and the earth must declare the glory of the Lord. Hallelujah. We raise our voices to you, oh God, in adoration and in praise. Hallelujah. Let the people of the church say amen. Say glory. He is 
is worthy. He is worthy. He is worthy. Amen. What a great God we serve. Hallelujah. Hey, come on. Open the eyes of the blind. There's no one like you. Hey, not like you. And into the darkness you shine. Out of the ashes we rise. There's no
are great, oh Lord. Oh, you're the name above our names. Yeah, worthy of our praise. And my heart will sing how great, how great is our God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's a great God. You're a great God. Oh, there's no God like our God. Among all the gods, who is like unto thee, O Lord? For you are fearful in holiness and in praises. Hallelujah. We bless your holy name. You are glorious, O Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, we honor you, O oh Lord. Oh, yes. Glory, glory, glory to the Lamb. Glory. Church the Lamb. And you. In righteousness forever. The Lamb. That seat upon the throne.
to be praised. You're the Lamb upon oh, and you will reign, yeah, in righteousness forever. you are the king of kings and lord of lords and we bow before your throne oh god for who are we that we can even be in your presence and yet oh lord you rule and reign you alone are god and you alone are worthy of our praise Oh, oh, yes, you are worthy of our praise. Oh, you are worthy of our praise. We call you a you are worthy of my praise. Oh, you are worthy of my praise. CSA. You are worthy. Oh, 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 oh,
praise your name. We praise your name. We lay and worship you. Come on, say yes. You are worthy. Oh, you are not worthy. Oh, we call you yes. Oh, 
are we that we can even be in your presence? But we praise your name. We lay, we lay down our titles, all our accolades, oh, and worship you. We lay our crowns down and we worship. We worship you, Lord. We lay your crowns and worship you. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, we worship you, Lord. Hallelujah. I said, Hallelujah. My goodness, my goodness. It is a great thing to be in the house of the Lord. It is a magnificent thing to be in the house of the Lord. My goodness, my goodness. The way the Spirit of God is moving, my goodness. I was there and I felt the fire of God. That's why I'm sweating. Amen. 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 But today it is a great day. It is another great day to be in the house of the Lord. And if you are here today, just know that you are in a place. Amen. The presence of God is here. The presence of God is evident. Uh, just know that if you are here, your life will never be the same. You, uh, uh, last month, pastor said, every time you come to church, every time you wake up each day, come with an expectation. Amen. And just know that if you are here, just know that your expectation shall be met. Amen. As long as you keep that expectation with you. Amen. 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 God bless you, online viewers. I wish you could feel the fire that's in this place right now. But it's okay. We'll send it through Wi-Fi since you like to be behind the screen. Amen. Before, we're going to go around as normal and to, we'll go around and greet each other. But before we go around and greet each other, I want us to acknowledge the giants of the house. Amen. There are some men and women of God in the house. And they are here and they're walking with their angels. They may be sitting in front of you in their white chairs, but behind them, there are so many angels, you guys are actually far in the back. Unless your angels are bringing you forward, my goodness. I know Lady Reese has the most angels here. Amen. <laughs> Amen. God bless you. I would like to start from the left to the right. Our Pastor Charles. We have our Pastor Charles here. Amen. 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 His wife is not, I don't see his wife right now, but he has a glorious, beautiful wife that is, um, I don't see right now, but she's beautiful. Amen. Now, on, speaking of beautiful, you also have the beautiful Minister Crystal right next to H. <laughs> the dress you are bringing is amazing. My goodness. You look amazing. And let's not forget. No, no, no I'll, I'll wait for this one. I'll wait for this because this one is a special one. I'll skip over a little bit. <laughs> and I'll go to our doctor, Reverend Prophet Eric Achab. Amen. He's the apostle of the house. He is here, and he's bringing in so much experience, so much knowledge. I believe that today you will hear from him, and something great will happen. Amen? Amen. And next we have our pastor Christian as well. He is here with anointed, steady. He has studied the word, and he is ready. If you have a chance, if you have any questions about the Bible, reach out to him after church. Amen? Amen. We also have our pastor Richmond Ansa, amen, 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 my goodness, and his wife is not here right now, but I must tell you, she's also beautiful, amen, 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 <laughs> amen, amen, Pastor Anita Ansa, she's here, as, I mean, that's the wife of Pastor Richmond, and I'll go here real quick, to the middle, my goodness, <laughs> the lady of the house, the first lady of the house. Clap if you're not jealous. Oh, clap if you're not jealous. Oh, Evangelist Lady Reese is here. Amen. Give her offering to her. And if you didn't know, she's also beautiful. Amen. 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 And we have our own pastor in the house, uh, Pastor Cephas Cafe Agbesi. You know, we already know what it is. He's a great man of God, anointed, um, truly um, filled with the word of God. Amen. Amen. But just know that even though we have our own pastors here, we also have pastors within the family. 
Amen. So Pastor Richmond Ansa, he brought his brother today. Pastor, Pastor Prince Delian Ansa, he's standing right behind him, also looking good. Amen. Amen. Just a question. Do you have a wife? Okay. But I know when you get one. Hey, it's between me and the Lord. Amen. <laughs> Amen, amen. But don't worry, we are here, we are anointed. So when you are, as we're about to go around and greet each other, please go and meet the um, uh, Pastor Richmond's brother, Pastor Ansai, who's standing also behind him. Amen. God bless you all. Sorry for the long intro, but we're going to re receive the choir once again, and we're going to go around and greet each other. Amen. Amen. I have a living hope, I have a living hope, I have a future, I have a future, God has a plan for me, God has a plan for me, of this I'm sure, of this I'm sure, I have a living hope, I have a living hope, and I have a future, I have a future, God has a plan for me, of this I'm sure, of this I'm sure, and Jesus, you're my firm foundation, I know I can stand secure, Jesus, you're my firm foundation, I put my hope in your holy word, I put my hope in your holy word, saying Jesus, you're my firm I'm sure. One more time, sing. I have a living hope. I have a living hope. And I have a future. I have a future. But God has a plan for me. Of this I'm sure. Sing Jesus. You're my firm foundation. I know I can stand secure. Jesus, you're my firm foundation. I put my hope. Yes, I put my hope. Sing Jesus, Jesus, you're my firm foundation. And I know I can stand, I can stand secure. You're my firm foundation. Oh, I put my hope. Say, I put my hope. Oh, I put my hope. Yes, I put my hope. Oh, I put my hope. Oh, I put my hope. Amen. 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 God bless you all. Amen. 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 He is the reason why we are here today. Amen. Amen. God bless you all. I hope you went around and greeted each other. I hope you admired um, the men and women of God of the house uh, because they are amazing people. And I hope you also admired yourself for being here today. You are in a great place once again. Those of you online, you have tuned into a great place. And just know that even if you are online, your, your blessings will be delivered through Wi-Fi. Amen. Amen. Right now, we are going to go ahead and we're going to 
I'm going to introduce the speaker of the, of the day, amen? And after I introduce him, we will have the choir come on, amen? But I want you to know that this man, when he mounts the pulpit, he's going to come with a new grace. He's going to come with an old grace. He's going to come with all mixed of graces, amen? And these graces are coming from Ghana, they are coming from America, and they are coming from experience. And they're coming from the word of God, most importantly, amen? So after this, thank you, we will receive uh, the man of God, uh, Pastor, Dr. Reverend Eric Achab, amen? But before that, we will invite the choir to come and give us a song ministration, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We just want to thank God for how far he has brought us. And we're going to say that we're not going back to our old ways of living, our old ways of thinking. We're going to continue to move forward in him. Amen.
Hallelujah. Let's give a hand to the choir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, come on. Somebody talk to me. Hallelujah. Anyway, when the MC was introducing, he forgot some people in the house. He forgot that Sam is in the house. The wife, Nana, is here. And the choir is here. Let's give them a hand. And he, the MC, is here. He's called Keris. Keris, who has no wife, and is asking people if they have wives. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just lift up your hand and begin to bless the Lord. Begin to bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. Just give him praise. Just give him thanks. If you can speak in tongues, speak in tongues. If you can't, just give him praise. Just say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You are a good God. You are a faithful God. Why would we go back? No matter what happens, we will stick with you. Because you have stuck with us. We will never go anywhere. We stand with you. And we are here because you are here. Hallelujah. 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 Father in heaven, we thank you. We bless you. We praise your name. Thank you for this day. Thank you for this bright new day. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your favor. Thank you that you rule. No matter what we go through, you are still on the throne. You are seated. And nobody can move you. And we wouldn't even tempt to move you. No problem, no situation in our lives will cause us to ever move away from you. Because you've been faithful. Even when we are not. This hour, even as your word comes, I submit myself to your spirit. I pray that you speak to your church, the oracles of God. Father, reveal your word. Open the scriptures. Open our eyes. Open our ears. And open our understanding in Jesus' name. Amen. You may kindly take your seats. Hallelujah. Amen. Recently, I was listening to... Oh, thank you, choir. Thank you. Uh, this is a surprise because I didn't sing. <laughs> Hallelujah. I, I will sing, but not now. When it gets there, we'll, 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 we'll cross the bridge. Hallelujah. I was listening to Reverend Dr. Mensah Otabel, and he made a comment. He said that... Uh, Africa is gradually becoming the bone, the backbone of Christianity. But he has one fear. And the fear is that many churches in Africa do not teach doctrine. And because of that, many people are just teaching heresy. When we talk about heresy, we are talking about wrong doctrine. And so people just say things and they, they go away because nobody checks them. And that is what is happening. And that is the problem uh, of the African church as seen by Reverend Dr. Mensah Otabel. And uh, it, 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 it inspired me that what we are doing here is right. We are teaching doctrine. And uh, we'll take our time to let the church know where we stand as Christians. And as we grow in the Lord, we we'll walk by his word. Amen. And this morning, the theme for my sermon is robed in divine righteousness. Robed in divine righteousness. Or if you want us to bring it down, we can say clothed in divine righteousness. May we turn our Bibles to Hebrews chapter 12. From verse 22. I'm reading from the King James Version. 
said, but ye are come unto Mount Zion and unto the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem, and to an innumerable company of angels, to the general assembly and church of the firstborn, which are written in heaven, and to God the judge of all, and to the spirit of just men made perfect, and to Jesus the mediator of the new covenant, and to the blood of sprinkling that speaks better things than that of Abel. Now, what I'm trying to do this morning is to start with a rhetoric. How can a mortal man, how can a sinful man come to the city of God? How can a sinful man, a mortal man, come to the general assembly of God, the church of the firstborn? And above all, how can a sinful man, a mortal man, come to God, the judge of all? What gives a man the boldness to be able to come to the presence of God? What gives man the ability to come to the presence of God? And he said, you did not only come to this city to God, the judge of all, but you also came to Jesus the mediator of the new covenant and to the blood of sprinkling that speaks better things than the blood of Abel. How is this possible? Now, from the beginning, I, I started talking about Mansanai and Man Zion. I made you to understand that the New Testament Christian is not walking by sight, but we walk by faith. We don't see, but we believe. For the Bible says that blessed is he that does not see, but believe. And so our, our walk in Christ is by faith. So we don't need to see before we believe. But I'm beginning this by going to a point and letting you know that humanity is God's end. Man has always been the end of God. God's end, the eternal purpose of God as planned by God is always man. From Genesis right through the scriptures, it is one thing, man. However, if we apply deeply into the scriptures, we will come to find that in actual fact, it is not only about man, but about two men. It, it is about two humanity, two kinds of men, one man, another man. <coughs> and so it is about a double humanity. It is about two humanities that he is talking about. And that has been the main purpose, the main focus of God. Can we quickly turn uh, the screen to Genesis chapter uh, 5 verse 2. If you guys can help me fast, I'll be so happy so that I can uh, hit and go very fast. Now, let's start from. Uh, now, he said, this is the book of the generation. Everybody follow this. He said, this is the book of the generations of Adam. So right from the beginning, he's making us know that his focus is man. And so he said, this is the book of the generations of Adam. In the day that God created man, in the likeness of God made he him, uh -huh, male and female created he them and blessed them and called their name Adam in the day when they were created. Now, God created Adam. God created man. And so here, anytime I use man uh, this morning, I'm not talking about man in the gender form, but I'm talking about man in humanity, in the human form. And so here he said, male and female created he them, blessed them, and called their name Adam. The word Adam here is also man. And so the original plan of God was man. He created man. But I said that if you look deeply into the Bible, you come to find that it's not only about one man, but it is about two men. 
So let's go to 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and find out what is happening over there so that I can link up both. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 45 to 49. And so it is written, the first man, Adam, was made a living soul. Now, the first man, Adam, he's talking about Adam and Eve. He's talking about our fathers, the original man. He said, first man, Adam, was made a living soul. The last Adam, which is Jesus Christ, was made a quickening spirit. Hold it there. Hold it there. And so the first man was made a living soul, but the second man was made a quickening spirit. There are two types of men here. Man made from the dust and man made from heaven the spirit. Okay, let's go. How be it? That was not first which is spiritual, but that which is natural. And after what? That which is spiritual. Hold it. And so the natural man came first and then the spiritual man followed. So God is making it clear through his word that originally he created Adam and Eve, but now he is creating a new kind of being. A new kind of being fashioned after his son, Jesus Christ. And that man is spirit. But he said, the spiritual man did not come first, but the natural man came first, and then the spiritual man came next. Okay. Let's go. The first man is of the earth. Everybody say the first man is of the earth. Oh, come on, let's talk it out. The first man is of the earth. Okay. Earthly, you see, he's earthy. The second man is the Lord from heaven. And so, the first man is made from the earth. But the second man is the Lord from heaven. Okay, let's go to the next verse. Uh -huh. As is the earthy, such are they also that are earthy. And so, what the Bible is trying to say is that there are two men here. One is from the earth. One is from heaven. And those who take after the earthy man, they are like the earthy person. But those who take after the heavenly man, the spiritual man, they are like the spiritual person. Such are they also that are heavenly. Now, I came this morning to announce to you that you were born biologically by your parents after the nature of Adam. But as soon as you become born again, you take on a new form, a new humanity. You are transferred from the natural man, the earthly man, to the spiritual man. Maybe you will not understand it. I told you before that the New Testament Christian does not walk by sight. You don't have to see before you believe, but you have to believe before you see. So I'm here to announce to you, even though you sit here in this chair, in your case, born of a woman, born of a man, you are born again. Therefore, you have the nature of Jesus Christ inside you. You are a spiritual being. You walk by the spirit. You are every nature is of the spirit. And that is what we are, we are talking about today. How can man approach God? We will come to that. Now let's go to verse 49. 49. And he said, And as we have borne the image of the earthy, we shall also bear the image of the heavenly. Oh, hallelujah. I don't know, somebody, I say hallelujah. I say hallelujah. Have you ever gone somewhere and people look at you and they say, you look like you're a man. You look like you're a dad. And you are so happy about it. Have you seen on TV the Maury show where people will go for DNA test and they say, this is not my son. And the woman will say, no, look at the picture. Look at the nose. Look at the ears. They look like him. That is his son. And so people bear the nature of the natural parents. But God is telling us today that the day you accepted Jesus into your life, 
you also born another nature and that nature is of heaven you have the nature of God inside you and that makes you a victorious person that makes you an overcomer that is where you are able to live above the natural above the normal and walk in the spirit realm oh, somebody say amen. amen these things are very difficult for us to accept and so now Bible is talking about two men here but don't let me forget this of course, the Bible begins with God. That one we all know. I don't want anybody to go home and say that the man was teaching that right from Genesis through the Bible is man. So he neglected to mention God. Because Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 said, in the beginning God. That is where we begin. That is where it all starts. We have the fact of God. Human history begins with God. It is God who initiates everything. He works everything and he brings everything into being. But there is one thing that I've noticed in reading the Bible. That the actions of God exposes his mind to us. The actions of God makes bare his mind to us. Now, have you seen that in Genesis, he took his time to create everything. He created the animals. He created the sea. He created the heavens, the firmaments. He created the bears. He created everything. Why was he creating? And then it got to the seventh day, at the sixth day, and God created man. After he created man, the Bible says he rested. That speaks to us about the mind of God. The mind of God is man. You see, when Stephen was about to marry, he was living in some one room apartment. But now Stephen will have to prepare for the wife. So he started looking for a good place. He started looking for a whole lot of things. He started furnishing his apartment. And all those type of things. Why? Because he was waiting for his bride. And that is exactly what God was doing. God created everything for man. And after he created everything, now he brought man to occupy what he created. And then he rested. From that time, God rested. It shows the mind of God that everything that God did and created was for man. And so man is very important to God. But the second man becomes very, very important to God because that is the nature of God. He is the nature of God. Now, let me go on to something. But you see, the first man, the first Adam, he failed God. He disappointed God and God rejected him. So now God chose a nation. He chose a people for himself. He called them his covenant people. He attached them to himself. And he worked with them. But they failed him as well. And when they failed him, God made a move. He went forward. And now we come to the middle of the Bible. And when we come to the center of the Bible, the heart of the Bible, the pivot of the Bible, then we see the two men competing over there. The next time I take uh, the pulpit, I will put the two men together so that you look at them and see the hatred they had for the man above. And that is exactly how the whole world looks at the church. They hate the church. They speak against the church. They say everything against the church. How can a whole president decide that Easter Sunday should be dedicated to trans, is it they call it trans virtual or something like that? Is that trans? No, no. The name, is that trans something day? 
trans visibility there. Now, I'm asking a question. Why didn't you choose Halloween? Why didn't you choose April Fool? Why didn't you choose the President's Day? You see, from time immemorial, you see that the first Adam and the second Adam, they are always in contention. The first Adam does not want to see any progress in the second Adam. And we as Christians refuse to move forward and let people know that we are imbued with heavenly attributes. We have the nature of God and move away from it. And we still live the way we live succumbing to all the shadows of the earth and the pressures of this earth. But I came here to announce to you that if you know who you are, your life is going to be victorious. And you are going to walk like a winner with your head high up in the sky, with your chest out, because you are not after this world, but you are formed after the heavenly person. And so now, the New Testament opens. We find the two people contending. There's a mighty transition in the New Testament. Number one, there is a transition from one man to another. Number two, there is a transition from one nation to another. Hallelujah. Transition from one man to the other. Transition from one nation to the other. Church, lift up your head. Let me tell you that you belong to a nation. And the nation is called the Christian nation. And Bible puts it very beautifully. The first nation he chose was Israel. He blessed them. Church, everybody listen to me. I'm going somewhere. It's a long teaching. I'll be going into it. I'll let you know how to walk in Christian life. Now, many of us are confused when we come to see how God blesses the Jews and we are confused that if anybody says that we are better than the Jews, then we argue because we see their mansions, their skyscrapers in Manhattan and we are confused. But let me tell you one thing. God blessed the first people. He blessed the first nation. But the blessing that God gave to Israel was material. It was earthly. It wasn't spiritual. But it was also temporal. It wasn't eternal. But when you come to the book of Ephesians, chapter 1, verse 3, he talks about the church of Jesus Christ. He said, we have been blessed with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places. I came to announce to you that the blessing of the church should not necessarily be that of the earth, but it is spiritual. God bless Abraham, the Jews. He did everything under every favorable condition. He blessed them. All they needed to do was to be in God's ground. All they needed to do was to obey his voice. If they obey his voice, their bonds are blessed. Their stores are blessed. Their homes are blessed. Their families are blessed. Their children are blessed. Their businesses are blessed. Everything they have are blessed, but it is temporary. It is not eternal, but the blessing God has released upon the church is a spiritual blessing. It goes beyond material. It goes beyond physical. It is not temporal. It is eternal. It is forever. I came to tell you, you are blessed. I say you are blessed. You are blessed by God. It is heavenly blessing, spiritual blessing. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many blessings didn't he give to Israel? He gave them water from rock, turned bitter water into sweet water, gave them manna to eat. He gave them everything, and yet they failed him. Under every favorable condition, 
that God blessed Israel, they failed him. Church, my hands are up. I came to announce to you, some of us, we behave like Israel. God blesses us and we fail to bless God. God blesses us and we fail to acknowledge him. God blesses us and we fail to worship him. But God blessed Israel and yet they failed him. Let me show you how annoyed God was with Israel. Isaiah chapter 5. They failed him. He gave them a marvelous economy. He did everything for them. Now look at what God told Isaiah to write. He said, now will I sing to my well-beloved a song of my beloved touching his vineyard. He's referring to the house of Israel. My well-beloved have a vineyard in a very fruitful hill. Ha. And he fenced it and gathered out the stones thereof and planted it with the choicest vine and built a tower in the midst of it and also made a wine press therein and he looked that he looked that it should bring forth grapes and brought forth wild grapes. But it brought forth wild grapes. Uh -huh. Go ahead. And now all inhabitants of Jerusalem and men of Judah judge I pray you between me and my vineyard. Uh -huh. What could have been done more to my vineyard that I have not done in it? Wherefore, when I looked that it should bring forth grapes, it brought forth wild grapes. And then what will happen? And now go to, I will tell you what I will do to my vineyard. Everybody listen. I will take away the head thereof and it, it shall be eaten up and break down the war thereof and it shall be trodden down. Church, of all the blessings that he gave to Israel, Israel failed him and he rejected Israel. And now God said, I would like to create a new people, a people that will walk in the righteousness of God. Hallelujah. Amen. I hope I have time to reach there, but I want you to know one thing. That Israel failed God. And God rejected them. Israel failed God. And God refused them. So he closed the Old Testament. And let me show you one secret. Even if time is not there. So that you understand it. And keep it in mind. Malachi chapter 4 verse 6. The old covenant became a total failure. Because God could not achieve what he wanted to achieve in Israel. Now, church, look at this quote. This is the last verse in the Old Testament. Everybody look at it. Everybody look at it. And he said, and he shall turn the heart of the fathers to their children. And the heart of the children to their fathers, lest I come and smite the earth with a curse. That's all. That's the end of the Old Testament. The Old Testament ended with the word curse. And there is no amen. Who will say amen to a curse? Amen means let it be done. So even the writers of the Bible, the writers of the Old Testament agreed that the Old Testament ended catastrophically. It ended tragically. God could not attain what he wanted to attain. But when you look at the end of the New Testament, Revelation chapter 22, he said, and may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the so and so and then he ends, Amen. Now, Israel could not even say, Amen. Okay, let's go, go, go and let the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And everybody say, Amen. That is the New Testament. And so here scriptures to let us know the plan he has and the way 
people had looked at the church, the Old Testament and the New Testament. The Old Testament ended tragically in a curse and without amen. But the New Testament ended with amen and everything. This is a proof that the Old Testament could not achieve what it was supposed to achieve. Amen. Amen. What is the time? 11.30. I think I have some few minutes. So now, we close the Old Testament. And we walk into the New Testament. Now, the New Testament is the crisis of these two humanities. Let me quote, everybody listen to what I'm saying here. He said, it is the crisis of the final word of rejection of a humanity or a kind of man and the introduction of an entirely diff different kind of human with the person of Jesus Christ. So now, church, when the Old Testament ended and the New Testament opened, it opened to the crisis of these two humanities. And the finality of it is that God had rejected the old humanity. The old man fashioned after Adam. And now he's brought in a new person. He brought his son to demonstrate to us how God's kind of man will be like. And for God's kind of man to walk into the presence of God, he needed something. And that is where I'm driving to. I wouldn't rush into that. I wouldn't come into the encomiums and say, God is this, that, that. But I want to establish something here so that the next time I come, I will begin from the New Testament and let you know who you are in Christ. The problem with the church is that we have... Uh, recited some of the things for us uh, and, uh, and by his stripes we are healed and then we all jump up by his stripes we are healed and we say my God shall supply all my needs according to his riches in glory and we shout amen but when we sit down with people and they ask us how did we get to that point where he strives, heal our diseases. Where he is able to supply all our needs. Where he is able to do great and mighty things in our lives. That is where the problem is. And that is why I'm screaming and yelling this morning. That let you know that the old nature, the nature of Adam ended with the Old Testament. But as soon as you become a New Testament Christian, you become a different person. You belong to a different nation. The book of uh, Peter calls you a holy nation. A holy nation. You are a holy nation. A priesthood nation. You are great people. You are peculiar. You are unique. You are salient. You are somebody that has never happened before. You are somebody anybody will look at and begin to look at you two, 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 two times because inside you is not human character. You don't have the nature of your father but inside you is a demonstration of the nature of Jesus Christ that wherever you go, wherever you walk, demonstrate Jesus let the world know that I live but not I but Christ that lives inside me is living and begin to walk in that victory. Let everybody know that God saved you by his blood that you can live a victorious Christian life. Oh hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, let me annoy some of you. I've always been telling Pastor Kafui. The problem with the African church in the diaspora is simple but complex. Why? 
because we are coming from Africa, Jamaica, Trinidad, Tobago, uh, Guyana, and all those places. And the problem is that some of us are Presterians. Like me, I was originally Presterian. Some of us are Methodists. Some of us are SDA. Some of us are white garment churches. So when we are praying, say, hey, and things are happening, and nobody cares. Nobody cares. Listen to me. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what church you went to. But now you are in a charismatic, Pentecostal, Bible-believing church. And you are, your ideas and concept of church must change to align itself with the word of God. Oh, amen. Oh. I say amen. Oh. But the place where you can learn the word of God, you don't go. Bible class. Bible studies. We hate it. We don't want to go to Bible class. To learn anything about. Right now. If we are to ask a question. How does one become born again? It's going to be trouble. It's going to be trouble. How can we live in an evangelical. Pentecostal. Charismatic church. And any time we want to pray, pastors will be, will be apologizing if you speak in tongues. Speak in tongues. Some of us have been in the church for years. We've been taught about the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Both of us have taught over it. And nobody is cutting anything. Why? Because we are still living like the old man. The old nature is still there. The old man is still there. The old Adam is still there. We haven't let go. We haven't as ourselves accepted Jesus into our lives so that we can walk like Jesus. I came to tell you today that you sitting there, you sitting there, you sitting there, you can walk like Jesus Christ. Because you know, Later, when I continue the teaching, he will say that you are spirit. The Bible says that God is spirit. Them that worship him must worship him in spirit and truth. And, uh, and then he place and he said, you, 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 you are spirit. Oh, hallelujah. Now, I'm going to close. But the next time I come to the point where I will answer my rhetoric. How a sinful man can come to the presence of God. That is when we are clothed with the righteousness of divine righteousness. And then we can be bold to come to God. I came to tell you that righteousness is nothing strange. Righteousness only means the ability to be able to stand in the presence of God. Number one, without a guilty feeling. Number two, without fear. Number three, without inferiority complex. Somebody say amen. amen. That you can walk to God. And if you can walk to God without any fear and you are confident, what do you think you can do in the presence of the devil? Uh -huh. Did you hear me? If you can walk boldly to the presence of, the, of God himself, to the charge of all. Then when it comes to the devil. You will just swallow him. I came to tell you. You will swallow the devil. I came to tell you. You will overcome over the devil. Because inside you. The Bible says. Greater is he that is in you. Than he that is in the world. The one inside you is great. Oh. The one inside you is great. Oh. He's greater than poverty. He's greater than sickness. He's greater than death. He's greater than shame. He's greater than sin. He's greater than everything that the world is throwing at you. I came to announce to you that you are a new creation. All things are passed away. You are a new 
new creation. You are fashioned like Jesus. You took upon yourself the nature of Jesus. Therefore begin to walk like Jesus. Walk with your chest out and let the whole world know that you are an overcomer. He said, uh, who said what? I said, who said what? Who said what about you? If what people say is what swallows people, I will be dead by now. Somebody say amen. amen. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Is that why we came to the blood of sprinkling, the blood of forgiveness? God is not like a human being. When he forgives, he forgives. Human beings are the only ones who have reversed, uh, rewind. They always rewind and remind you of things. Church, you are a holy nation. Amen. You are a royal priesthood. Amen. You are very peculiar. Amen. Let me end on this note. You, you are special. Listen, listen, I'm not joking. I'm not yabbing. I'm not doing yada, yada, yada. But I'm talking the word of God. I don't know what you are going through. I don't know where they've dragged you. But I came to tell you, you are special. Amen. Oh, I say you, you are very special. Amen. He said you are a peculiar people. Amen. You are very unique. You are the most beautiful person God ever created. Yeah. What, what are they saying? That you are ugly? Somebody said you are ugly. Even the monkey, the orangutan, has a wife. The monkey has a husband. Your husband is coming. Your wife is coming. I said, don't, don't, don't lose hope. I said, your wife is coming. And everybody is rejoicing in beauty. But I came to tell you, ah, you are the most beautiful person on earth. Amen. Encourage yourself. Amen. The Bible says, let, let the poor say, I am rich. And let the weak say, I am strong. So even if you are ugly, let's assume that is true, you are ugly. When you wake up in the morning, go to the bathroom, remove everything. There you are alone. Nobody is seeing you. And look at yourself in the mirror and take a catwalk stance and pose. Say, look at that handsome guy. Look at that beautiful woman. And then <clears throat> begin to walk like Naomi Campbell. Contestant number one, then you are coming. I say, ah, look at me, check me out. The Bible says, you will decree a thing and it shall come to pass. Today, I want you to start decreeing. I want you to start decreeing. The day you are poor, that is the day you dress well. Put on the best. Sometimes when I'm on the train, People have been saying, oh, I like your shoes. I like your shirt. I like your... Sometimes those days, I'm so proud. <laughs> Friday, I went to a doctor's appointment. My heart was beating like crazy. And this earthquake thing came and confused me more. <laughs> I was taking a shower. And then all I heard... Go, 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 go. And I started blaming my upstairs neighbors. <coughs> I said, these people, they are always disturbing me. They won't give me any peace. But this time around, the shaking was not only from upstairs. The whole building was shaking. I said, ah, is it that they brought some jackhammer here? And then when I finished, I came to the living room and I saw on TV, they said earthquake. I said, hey, Father, thank you for covering us. And so, Friday, my heart, I decided to go and see my cardiologist. And I was broke. When I say I'm broke, I was broke. I mean, I was broke, broke. I almost went to Dick and Colin and asked for money. But 
One thing about me, I don't ask for people for money. If there's anybody I ask for money, I'll go to him. I'll go to him. I don't want any trouble, though. There anybody who go to the office, uh, Pastor Garfield, you know that old man, he's been begging for money. God forbid. I'd rather die than to ask for money. So if you people want to bless me, bless me well. Don't wait expecting me to come and ask. I won't ask. So I dressed very well. But I was broke. As soon as I stepped onto the fourth train, there was this guy. He said, hey, player. <laughs> hey, player. Now look at it. Say, you dress well. I check you out. Look at you. Look at the shirt. Look at the jacket. Look at it. I was talking. I said, hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says that let the poor say, I am rich. I am rich. I came to end this. You are rich. You are beautiful. You are special. Rise up and let's pray. Hallelujah. There is a name I love to hear. I love to sing this well. It sounds like music in my ear. The sweetest name I know. Let's go back again. There is a name I love to hear. I love to sing this well. Oh, it sounds like music in my ears, dear sweetest name on earth. Oh, bum, 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 oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, yes, oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Because he, I want you to wave your right hand in confession. Oh, oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, yes, oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Because he fell love. Oh, 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 because. If it's love, yeah, 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 because if it's love, put your hand on your chest, because if it's love me, yeah, 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 because if it's love me. Father, thank you that you love us and that you left your throne to die for us. Father, we bless you. We thank you. We are a new creation. We are a brand new people. And we have decided to walk by faith like you. So help us and glorify your name in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let's give the Lord a clap offering and take our seats. MC. Amen. Even as he's getting off this, the pulpit, what do we say to our pastor? God bless you. Remember what he just said. The bless you, God bless you is not only the only thing he needs. Amen. So give him the cash, give him the money, the zealous. He accepts it. Amen. He may be matured in age, but he knows how to use zeal. <laughs> he knows how to use zeal. Amen. Amen. If anything, if you want to teach him cash up, teach him cash up. Amen. But anyway, we're going to pray for him for a moment. Just praying that may God meet him where he is. That anything that he poured out onto us, that may he receive double. May he receive in the name of Jesus Christ. Father God, I pray that may you meet him in his place of need. May you meet him, O oh Lord. Lebre sika palabe sida bada dada be braka palaba la balabo zebe kapuro bu sika pada dada bada dada be la braka palala balala bu sika pada dada dada be raba kapalabo sida be dada dada be 
In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray, O oh Lord, we call it done in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You may take your seats. And at this moment, we are going to invite um, our deacon, Charles Davis, to come and give it, to lead us in the Titan and Thanksgiving. Amen. 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 Joyfully shall we receive our tithes. Joyfully shall we bring our tithes. Joyfully, let me see smiles on your faces. Joyfully, let's have our tithes. Those of us worshiping with us online, this is the time we offer our tithes to the Lord. I believe you are in spirit with us. Amen. Whose report shall we believe? We shall believe the report of the Lord. What, which report do we see today? What report do we have about it? The report of the Lord to you is that by your diligence towards your titan, the Lord says he's going to have a special rain upon your life this week. Please hear me well. The Lord says he's going to have a special rain upon your life this week. And that there, the, he has tied the rain as the rain of um, transformation. The rain of bringing things into your life. The rain of correcting things which have gone wrong. He says, I should tell you what the canker worm, what the caterpillar and the papa worm have eaten in your life. He's going to do what? He's going to restore all to you. Why? Because of diligence towards your tithing. And that is not the end. He says he's going to spice it up with a passage of scripture. Zephaniah chapter 3 verse 19. He says he's going to undo all things. What people have said against you in the past, he's going to undo them. So that is the word of the Lord for you this morning. And he wants me to assure you, to encourage you, continue with the good work. And that the blessings are on the way coming to you. In Jesus' name, amen. Please have your seat. Shall we now receive our offering, choir? Shall we receive our offering now? I've mentioned the other time that anytime you come to church, whenever you are going to see the king, you send a present to the king. You see, we are we're here. We, we've been here this morning. We have met our king. We have interacted with the king. We're going to bring something to the king. Let's bring something to the king, church. We can't come to the king with our empty hands, please. You go and see Asante here. You got to present something to Asante. This is the king of all kings, the lord of all lords. When we come to him,
Amen. Amen. Shall we please be on our feet? Let's be on our feet. <laughs> yes. Father, we thank you this day. When we take, when we look back in our lives, oh Lord, we are not even worthy to be in your presence. But thanks be to God. Thanks we give you praise and worship, Lord. For your only begotten son, Lord Jesus, came to die on the cross for us and by his stripes we are here. His blood sanctify us. And this morning, Lord, you have given us strength to come and have fellowship with you. Your word continues to ring bells in our minds, oh Lord. That at least when we come to your presence, Father, we must bring a gift. When we come to your presence, we must bring our ties to you. And so, Lord, we have done it. This day, Lord, we call heaven and earth to be witnesses. That, Father, let the covenant engagement be fulfilled. So that throughout the week, Father, we can rejoice. We can rejoice. We can rejoice. And know that, yes, you continue to protect us. You continue to put food on our table. You continue to place a, a covering over our head. Father, let this be so. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Amen. God bless you all. Uh, we're going to invite um, our pastor, Cephas, to come and give us the church announcement. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. God bless you this morning. Amen. Oh my gosh. Give someone a high five. Say, smile at me. Because the faces you are looking at me with, it needs a smile. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Just a few announcements and I'll be out of your way. Amen. The, the date has been set for the church dedication ceremony. Amen. So um, we met with the deacons, the pastors, and um, a date has been set for the event for the dedication of the church building. Amen. Amen. And it is going to be a banquet event. Amen. Amen. The date is on Saturday, June 22nd. Saturday, June 22nd. Amen. Amen. And... Um, that Saturday is the dedication itself. It is also the banquet event. And um, the Sunday, June 23rd, is the Thanksgiving service. Please, please, please mark your calendars as a vacation. Amen? Amen. No surprises. Um, so please mark your calendars for a vacation. Amen. I want to add a few more announcements to this um, in preparation towards this banquet that is coming up on the 22nd, um, the dedication service, um, we have to make a couple of changes. We have to continue the renovation phase of the church. Number one, we have to work on the bathrooms. Um, we have um, a timeline to complete the bathrooms in two weeks. Um, number two, the children's room is something we have to work on. Amen. You see children running around. We love the children. We adore them and all kinds of things. But, um, you know, we need them to have a place. Not because we don't want them to be a distraction to us. But I believe that children have to start learning the ways of God now. So that as they grow, they can walk in it. So it is very, very important that we work on that. Number three, we are also working on carpeting this place. Um, from the sanctuary all the way to the altar platform. And number four, we also want to perfect the church sound system. And number five, we need to have a church sign in front of the church. These are just minimum things that needs to be done in order to have the event that is coming, the dedication that is coming up. Um, that being said, as I said, the bathrooms will be completed in two weeks. Amen. But we need help. We need some financial help. Let me have an offering. But I want us to take a love offering for help. Amen. 
Media team, please put information on the screen. Amen. We want to give towards that. If you want to give, just come forward. Amen. I believe that there is a blessing in every giving, no matter what it is, no matter how little it is. Amen. You can stand wherever you are. You can come forward. You can give into the offering bowl and we shall pray. Pull it in and just stand at your seat and we shall pray. Amen. But whatever you have, you can put it in. If you are given on the screen, though, you can just stand on your feet and we pray. Amen. Oh, yes. We also have a credit card machine. If you want to swipe or use it, just see one of the ushers. Um, there is someone back there. They will help you. You can use your card as well if you want to do that. I think there's somebody over there. All right. Thank you very much. Let's share a prayer together. Congregation, please stretch your hands towards them. Amen. You know of a surety that what you are doing is going into something that will be permanent in this church. You are sowing into a good and a fertile ground. Scripture said, cast your bread upon the waters and after many days you shall find it. I pray that by the reason of your obedience and the goodness, the goodness of your heart, let your clouds gather for you this week. This month, may the blessings of God rise upon your life in the name of Jesus Christ. May all your lines fall into perfect places. May you come into divine alignment and divine placement. As you have been good to this ministry, so let the Lord be good and gracious to you. May he shine his face towards you. May he show you mercy in the name of Jesus Christ. Be blessed. Be blessed. Be a testimony that because you have done this, he does sit upon the circles of the earth has not neglected you. May you be blessed. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. God bless you. Put your hands together for them. Let's appreciate you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. This will go a long way. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Church, in the next three weeks, we are going to begin our street evangelism. Amen. We're going to have printer flyers and whatnot. Um, we've been in this community for a couple of months now, and um, it is time that we go out and introduce ourselves to the neighbors and the community. Amen? So in the next couple of weeks, in the next three weeks, that's going to be part of the plan. Announcement will come to us as we go on. Amen? Um, the next thing also is that, as I mentioned, that we need to start working on preparing a place for the children. Um, the temporary location is, you know, what we need to work on is downstairs, even as we anticipate other ideas that we may work on a back room as well and things of that nature. So um, at the end of the service, we just, you know, want some people to help us. I think the garbage...
God bless you so much. Amen. Let's be on our feet. Thank you so much for the service and for joining us. Amen. Let's appreciate the Apostle Dr. Eric Anab Achap. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. Amen and amen. We, we appreciate him. Amen. He's battling a lot of challenges. And for him to stand here this very day and to minister, it is by the grace of God. Amen. Sometimes we see preachers out here and we don't know what they are going through. And we just see it by the simplicity of what is going on. Everywhere that he's preaching, he's also fighting the battle of faith. Amen. So you got to understand it, that he's not just saying something to you that he's just swinging around because it's in the Bible. Amen. Amen. He's also standing with it and he's warring with it. Amen. We appreciate you. Amen. Thank you so much. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. We also want to appreciate the music department for such a wonderful praise and worship today. Guys, we thank you so much. We appreciate you. Thank you so much. I know it is not easy what they are doing. And at the back room, the media department, God bless you. Amen. God bless you. The sound, God bless you. Um, the ushering, God bless you so much for service today. We appreciate and love all of you for your commitment. Amen. Please let's share the benediction. Now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us all now and forevermore. Amen. Greet someone, say surely, goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life, and you shall forever and ever. Amen. God bless you so much. God bless you. God bless you. Please.